Hi friends. Today we're going to do module four, lesson 28. Our objective, model decompositions of 10 using fingers, sets, linking cubes, and number bonds. So again, using all of the math tools that we know or have at home to practice number pairs to 10. We should be able to name the number pairs to 10 very quickly in our minds. Um, so we will practice that today. All right, we're gonna play a fluency game called race to zero subtraction. So we're gonna start with the number five and we're gonna roll the dice and subtract the number that we get. So let's go ahead and see what number we get. Five, take away one. All right, so let's do that. You can use your fingers, you can use cubes, whatever you wanna do to figure that out. You can use your brain. Five, take away one is four. Good job. All right, so now our new number is four. Let's see how many we're gonna take away. Oh, I think we did it. Four take away four equals zero. Good job. You can play that game at home, roll your dice, and um, start subtraction, subtracting to get to zero. Great job. All right. Let's figure out how many beads are on our bracelet. All together, how many do I have? Go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Show me ten fingers. Good. All right. How many beads are in my half moon circle? How many did I just circle there? Five. Good. How many are not in my circle? What is the other part that we have? Five. Good job. Let's say the number sentence together. Five plus five equals 10. All right, we are going to play um, a game with grapes. So I want you for your snack today to draw some grapes. Some of your grapes are purple and some of your grapes are green. Let's see how many grapes all together we have 10. I'm gonna draw two purple grapes because I don't really like the purple ones, but I like green grapes. And I'm gonna draw the rest of them. Remember what number we're stopping at, 10. So I have five on top, drawing the five group way, and the rest on the bottom. So how many purple grapes do I have? Two, good job. How many green grapes do I have? Eight. And how many grapes do I have all together? Ten. Well done, friends. All right. So now we're going to use our fingers to do the parts of ten. So start with ten and zero. Makes ten. Your turn. With ten and zero makes ten. Good. Let's say nine and one makes 10. Great job. Two and eight makes 10. Good. Seven and three makes 10. Six and four makes 10. And last one, five and five makes 10. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and um, play our picnic game with some ants. So when we went on our picnic, we had a couple of ants on the rug and a couple of ants around the rug, the, the blanket, the picnic blanket. So they weren't quite on our picnic blanket yet. We're gonna figure out the two parts that we have by counting them. Let's start with the ants on the picnic blanket. How many? Three. Good job. How many were outside, not on the blanket yet? Seven. Good. Some of you are thinking quick. You know that three is paired with seven. And when you say three and seven, 
you know that it makes 10. Good job, friends. Remember, those two numbers always get together to make 10. Oh no, more ants joined the picnic blanket. Let's change our number bond to match. Remember how many did we start with all together? 10 ants came a marching. How many on the picnic blanket? Six, good. And how many off of the blanket? Four, well done friends. Six and four makes 10, so proud. All right, we are going to match our number bonds like we did with our nine number bonds by looking at the linking cubes and figuring out which number bond it should go with. So I'm gonna do what I did last time and label them so you can help me from home. So we've got number bond A right here, number bond B, number bond, oops, number bond C, and number bond D, okay? So when I start with this linking cube, you're gonna tell me at home if you think it's A, B, C, or D. All right, let's figure out how many gray we have. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna start with how many white I have. I see two white cubes. And I know that two and eight makes 10. So I'm looking for a number bond that has the parts eight and two. So look at over here at the letters and see which number bond, number bond A, number bond B, number bond C, or number bond D matches this linking cube. <gasps> Did you say C? Ding, 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 ding. Number bond C matches this linking cube. Now we see the number eight, but we're missing the number two. You got it, well done. All right, let's do the next one right here. I see one white, which means that how many other fingers, how many other linking cubes are gray? One and nine, good. See if you can find the number bond that has those parts. Good, number bond D. And we're just gonna add in that other part that we're missing, one. All right, let's look at this one right here. How many gray? Three. How many other cubes? How many white cubes? Seven, three and seven. Look for the number bond that matches this linking cube set. Number bond A, great job, friends. And our last one is five and five, which matches which? Number bond. Number bond B, great job. All right, here's our last problem, friends, to get our brains all warmed up for the day. We are going to take a look at the two towers that we have and write a number bond for it. See if you can do it before me. All right, I'm gonna take a look at this number tower first. I see that I have three in this tower, and I see that I have seven in this tower. Oh, I know that. Three and seven makes 10. Great job. Give yourselves a thumbs up, a pat on the back, cause I'm all that, cause I'm all that. Great job, friends. Thanks for joining me.